Hey Mark, it's Trevor at Carter Chevrolet. It's about one, roughly three hours to when your, your shipper's gonna pick up your truck. And I just didn't feel right selling you the pickup, not being there when you took it off the trailer and got delivery of it. So I wanna give you a quick walk around, kind of how I present cars. It's not total, but I, sh I wanna give you an idea of some of the features that are on the car on the pickup that uh, I hope you enjoy, find useful, you know, other than that. But I want to just give you the quick walk around uh, of the truck delivery. So uh, for, first of all here, that's your 17 Silverado 2LT Z71. So great truck. Uh, we sold a ton of them. It's kind of our bread and butter here in Okarchi. But I'm gonna walk around like I normally do with people when I deliver a vehicle. I'm gonna do some turn around the camera, so try not to get too dizzy. Let's go under the hood, and right down here, in the middle, is your hood latch. Okay, pull that once, hood comes up, and then until you get used to it, if you wanna put your hand under here and just move it side to side till you get used to where that latch is. So, on a Silverado, to try and cover things, make it look nice uh, and clean and presentable. So it's kind of a, you know, treasure chest, search map sort of thing for dealers, but for owners, but uh, air cleaner, air filter, overflow cooling, your transmission dipstick. Over here's your oil dipstick. See that yellow right there? Then besides the oil fill, here is your washer fluid uh, tank. Room for a second battery down here. And then your fuse box for all your fuses and brake fluid goes here, okay? Two LTs are specific in that they are body color. So if you'll notice also, entire bottom bumper here, body color, your mirror caps, their body color rear bumper body color so it, it's a nice touch uh, customization of the Z71 uh, close up of your uh, wheels here if you'll notice two uh, wheel locks and I'll go over that here in a second so <clears throat> past your side front nice heavy-duty floor mats easy to get in full open door when you go to lift the back seat up, both sides are this way. It's kind of a 60-40 split, but there's no more strap here anymore to lift the seats up. You just grab them and lift, and they stay up. So if you can see the other side still down, same way, just like this. Okay, on your back window, you do have a back window defrost. You can see the lines in there, okay? Very nice in the winter. Don't have to worry about scraping ice and things like that. I don't know how much ice you get in Tennessee. In Oklahoma, we get a lot, it seems like. Uh, back here on your tailgate. I'm gonna grab your keys, sorry. Forgot this part. Uh, your tailgate does lock with your cabin keys, okay? So right here is your backup camera. A manual lock, but if you'll listen, just by pushing the lock key, you'll lock this tailgate, okay? Lock it, unlock it, comes down, has the anti-slam feature, so it doesn't just slam down, it's got a, a rotor in it to where it lets it down easy, okay? So you wanna keep that locked. Uh, in Oklahoma City, the backup camera makes these tailgates worth about uh, $2,000 on the black market, so they were stealing them for a while and, and uh, making some money. On your trailer tow package, of course, two inch receiver hitch here. There is your uh, spare tire lock. Here is your trailer pickups here, traditional. And then if you'll take your, a lot of turning around, I'm sorry. If you'll take your regular key, open this door, get right in there, turn that out and this plug comes out. Okay, that's how you lower your spare. Okay, you have a full size spare under the truck. That's how you get it. I'll show you where the tools are here in a second. But uh, somewhat handy, you know, keys are important. On the gas cap, 
It's a capless. There's actually two trap doors in there to get the nozzle through to make sure that uh, you can put gas in. So you don't worry about thieves putting sugar or something in the tank. They have to get the second trap door, which they can't usually do. Uh, I'm going to unlock it here. Your remote. Okay, I'm going to keep those with me for a second demonstration here. Under your rear seat, Mark, is where your tire tools are, okay? So right down there, you can see that pouch, and there's the clip to take it out, is your long tire tools. On the other side is your jack. The jack's held in there by pressure. So if you want to just get under there and loosen, I call it a cauliflower, loosen the turn knob on it, you can get that jack out because it loosens the... the uh, tension on it. Before we get back in the truck, I'm going to shut these doors. I'm going to show you a nice feature. The truck does have remote start as well. So when you get your keys out, look at your key fob. Okay. Thankfully, I have them right here. So on your key fob, you have lock, unlock. The big circle at the top is remote start and the bottom knob button there is panic hopefully you never have to use that what you want to do for remote start okay you'll lock it twice here it honk and then hold down the top round button it's just a, a push for a couple seconds try that again lock it twice and there it goes Okay, so I might have had too many gaps between locks, but right there is how your remote started. Now it'll run for 10 minutes. Okay, you can turn it off using the same process, hold that button down again. You can remote start it up to three times. Okay, if you get to where you don't need to let it run for 10 minutes, push that button, kill the engine, but you unlock it now, you can get in. Well, when you get in, You'll see that nothing's on, none of your gauges, the radio, none of it's on. You can't even shift out of park, okay? Put your key in. I'll do this right here real fast for you. Oh, sorry. I dropped the camera. Whoa. Are you dizzy yet, Mark? <laughs> sorry about that. So put your key in and notice you can't even shift out of park. Put on the brake, nothing. Turn the key to on. Your radio comes on, all your gauges come up, okay? Now you can shift the truck. That's a safety feature for when people may try to, to carjack your car while it's running. They can't even move it, so don't worry about that at all, okay? A couple things in here I want to go over before I get in the truck. And I, I hope you don't think I'm talking to you like an idiot about, you know, power windows and all that. I just, I want to let you know, be informed. If some of this is, is elementary to you, I apologize, but I would feel better you taking the truck knowing all it can do. So, uh, of course, power windows, power locks are right here, mirror controls, child locks on the back doors, and then window locks, okay? The need to be the car running for those to be set or reset. So you can't lock the child lock with the truck off, okay? Down here, of course, your trailer brake sensitivity. Okay, you set that for electronic trailer brakes. Your full wheel drive knob, it is a spring-loaded knob. You can go into four high, up to 45 miles an hour, to four low, stop the vehicle, put it in neutral, foot on the brake. Then you can go to four low. Very truck-like, okay? On your second knob here, the lower knob is your headlights. Right now they're an automatic. You can turn them off, okay? You can turn your parking lights, headlights, Go back to auto and then if you push this button your driving lights on the front corner will come on and give you some extra light for the sides of the highway that your hot that your headlights don't reach okay back here this lever allows you to telescope the wheel okay this one here is for tilting okay most people get that set forget all about it they just always drive the truck how they want okay on your seat 
you have power driver seat, so front and back, uh, recline, and then lumbar here. Uh, as we get in the truck, this is your cruise control here. Turn it on. You'll see an icon there in the cluster. It's white. Once you actually set your speed on the highway, 65, 70, whatever you drive, it will turn green and then we'll show your uh, speed that you've selected. Put this down here. As you see, I put gas in the truck. It's full. It does have eight miles on it. Put a little couple on there, getting it back and forth. Uh, sorry, hope it's not a big deal. Uh, I hope you can see this because it is kind of convenient and important, but I'm going to do my best. I can't really see the screen once I show you. But these buttons here for your information control center, up and down, go through those screens there. So trip meters, fuel range, uh, oil life, tire pressures, things like that. As you can see, the truck's in great shape. On a trip meter, for example, hold down the check mark and it resets it. So a couple things like that, you know, you can see. Also, I almost always leave my speedometer or the, the reader on the speed. That For me, that's easy to look at. If you go left here, uh, info, and just run through them with the, with the arrow screen or the up and down arrows, audio, phone, navigation, options, okay? You'll probably always leave it on info. You'll never have a need for these settings. That's to change the language from kilometers to uh, miles per hour, things like that. Uh, the radio you may use just to not take your eyes off the road. And then the navigation you can use if you want. Rest of the truck here, okay? Both sides, you have your heated seats, so the leather. You can heat your back and butt, or just the back. It does start out high, medium, low, off. Okay, and you saw the indicator lights right there. Show those to you again. And just complete re-pushing of the button. Uh, down here, trash control, on or off. Dome light in the bed, and then descent, hill braking, so to speak. Not a true engine brake, but it does work kind of on the same principle. Okay. On your gear shift, you have trailer tow mode. So once you push that in, you get an orange wagon down there. That lengthens your shift points to get more torque out of the engine so you can tow things a little better. Okay. Up here, I'm trying to think what to show you next. Uh, sunglass holder. Here's your dome light controls. So off, door, on. Right now, in the middle, they're set to come on with the door. If you push the off, and they're just an LED light, it turns them off, of course. What what else would off do? But if you, you're at night, drop something, turn them on, they all come on. And there's two back here as well. I will leave mine on door, call it good, so to speak. Uh, on your armrest, you have a nice armrest here, USB port, and plug in there at the front. There's two channels to lay your cord in. It does come with a uh, microfiber cleaning cloth for the radio screen. That's all in there. If you lift this up, on the front is a handle. I don't know how to show you that. There's a handle right there. Locks with your ignition key. Everyone in Oklahoma calls it the gun safe. I don't know if you travel with a pistol or a firearm. You could put it in there, lock it away safely. Uh, it does come with a uh, a nozzle extension for the gas. Not all gas stations have the longer nozzle to get in the both trap doors of the gas tank. So use this. I keep it in the bag. And then as I was showing you earlier, wheel locks. Okay, that top one is your key to get these wheels off. Don't lose it. Let's <laughs> talk right at the camera. Don't lose it. It's important. Okay. Uh, if you do lose it, they'll have to cut the nut off and it's serious but uh, <clears throat> on the rest of the truck so right here on the radio okay so you have audio phone projection on star nav settings text on star shop okay you'll probably never use this on star button you'll probably never use the shop button but what you do 
on the phone, pair your device this way, uh, download your contacts, your recent phone calls, voicemail, you call by voice. So that's pretty handy. Uh, if you don't know how to pair your phone, call me. I will try and walk you through it from, from Oklahoma. I'll call you in Tennessee if you want, kind of get you through it. You'll always use the home button. Okay, a little picture of a house right there. You'll always use that one to get you back here. Audio is the radio. So you find a station you like, press and hold the preset, changes it. You don't have to worry about your bands, AM, FM, XM. You can go to uh, an XM radio, push the preset, and now you see it flips between FM, XM, AM, if we had one on there. Okay, I'm gonna put on a nice country station for you, 1019 The Twister. 1019 The Twister, sorry. Press and hold that one, pretty simple. So it's there. On the projection, this third button, okay. <clears throat> so I take my Android, that's what I have, Samsung Galaxy 8. Open this top lid and I say tether once I plug my charge cord into that USB, okay, then it will show on the screen Android Auto. If you're an iPhone, it'll say Apple CarPlay. And I think you are because we FaceTime. <clears throat> Apple CarPlay will come up and it will show your phone's screen rather than the pickup screen so that when you use Google Maps or your own contacts or things like that, you're more comfortable with it. Plus, your truck does come with 4G LTE Wi-Fi for three months, OnStar three months, and then XM Radio for three months to try out. The, you'll get a gig of data to try. Uh, in my wife's 17 Equinox, it is blazing fast. It's almost like you're at Google. The pages load like that. I haven't tried to watch a movie. I could if I wanted to. Uh, I try to talk to my wife more in the car together, but everybody's different but that projection will work only when your phone is connected to the USB in here okay uh, other than that you can Bluetooth things if you do want to listen to your music you press the media okay if I paired my phone it would show the Bluetooth setting and things like that you do have two uh, whatever they're called, I don't know, glove boxes, that's it. Uh, I did put the window sticker in there for you. Some people like to keep that. It's up to you if you want to throw it away, you can. <clears throat> Very important, and I'll turn it on later today if I'm not there with you. When you get the truck, I need you to press this blue OnStar button in the middle, okay? That's gonna activate your OnStar. It's called a welcome call. They'll talk to you. Uh, verify it's you, they know it's you, verify your Wi-Fi, set up your password, PIN numbers, they're going to try and sell you some things, extra minutes, data, what have you. You can say no, it's not a big deal. But certainly go through that. You'll also be receiving a survey from GM, customer satisfaction. I need for you to fill it out 100% satisfied. If for some reason you can't do that, uh, let me know. Give me a chance to correct some things. It it can hurt my rating as a GM salesman. I know that really means nothing to you, but it would be a huge favor to me. So if you could do that, that would be great. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Mark, I love the truck. I think it's a great decision. Uh, it's one of my favorite vehicles we have here. If you have any questions, by all means, call me, text me a question, whatever it is. I'm more than happy to help, and uh, I don't know if maybe this video has helped you or not, but I certainly feel better having done my part. You know, we're four states away. I just want you to be happy and satisfied with the vehicle and that, you know, you want you to feel like you've made the right choice. So, Mark, again, thank you. I appreciate the business. Uh, oh, I'm just going to show you this, too. We also have a referral program, so it's $200 for referrals. Send somebody here, they buy a truck from me uh, on your keys. And this is all jumbled together, but there's a keychain. Uh, I left this on here so I wouldn't lose the keys for you. 
But I did give you, I just got these in, a little uh, bottle opener. If you can see on there, it's got my name and phone number. Uh, we do pay $200 for referrals. So if you know somebody, send them out. Be more than happy to send you some checks, get you some money. But uh, like I said before, I just didn't feel right just sending you a pickup with no explanation as to how things are going. Hopefully this has been too painful to watch. Uh, we are a visual society. So uh, if you need some help, let me know. Other than that, enjoy your pickup. Mark, thanks again. Bye-bye.